Hey guys, Andrew Esquivel here, and today I want to talk about a new filter that I am using in conjunction with the rest of my reverse osmosis deionization filtration system. Now, here's the scenario. I have well water, it's a private well, and whenever we have harsh weather like pouring rain or melting snow, we get this issue where a ton of sediment, clay, iron, etc., gets pushed up through the system by the well pump and it clogs all our filters up. We get nasty brown water, etc. Now, I'm definitely not alone in dealing with this problem. This is something that people who have wells have been dealing with for a long time. And in my reverse osmosis filtration system, uh, the water comes in a line directly from the well in this particular instance. The rest of the house is on a com is comes from the well as well, but it's a completely different system and setup. This is just for creating clean drinking water as well as clean water for my fish and my fish tanks. So here's the thing. I always ask myself, why is there not a purpose built like metal mesh filter for this sort of thing? Kind of like the pre-filter for my booster pump and I apologize for the mess right now. I'm doing the plumbing. It's, it's still a work in progress. This room needs to be cleaned up. I totally get that. So yes, it's, it's going to be very messy. So down, down there is the booster pump. And, uh, before the booster pump, I have a pre-filter. Now this pre-filter is a metal mesh and this metal mesh is cleanable, reusable, and it traps a lot of that heavy larger particles and that's good because it helps keep the the booster pump clean but it's small it can't handle the kind of load that it often receives and thus it turns my sediment cartridge here which is the first stage in the ro system uh really it it, it turns it all gunked up and um, believe it or not it's actually clean right now. It's just got residue uh, on, on the inside of the filter. I just swapped them out. I got to clean all that off again. But as you can imagine, and I actually have a video of it. Uh, I can post a link to it in the description of what happens when you don't change the sediment cartridge in your RO system. Uh, it, any, anywho, it gets really thick and gunky. And, and the, the problem is sediment cartridges start getting used up quite quickly. And I'm like, well, okay, what the heck? You would think, I was like, does someone make a, a filter like this metal mesh one? Like, why is, why is that not a thing? Well, for some reason, throughout all my research and talking to people, no one's ever brought up the fact that these things exist. It's, it's called a spin filter. And it's exactly what I needed. It traps large amounts of sediment. Now, it filters down to 50 microns. That's nothing compared to what the RO... Uh, membrane will filter down to but that's not the point the point is this thing traps a ton of the heavy particles that would otherwise clog up the rest of the system now this is important because this is going to extend the life of the filters for everything after it now it is a metal mesh filter very similar to the booster pump, booster pump pre-filter, but it's got one neat trick up its sleeve. You might be wondering, why is it called a spin filter? Haha. -ha. Well, it's almost self-cleaning. You see, when this metal mesh gets all gummed up, I'm trying to focus here. Well, when it gets all gummed up, you can clean it without having to take it apart. You see, if I open this valve right here, what happens is it's now flushing the system out and it creates a sort of cyclone inside of the system here. And when it does that, it cleans the metal mesh. And when you're done cleaning the metal mesh, you just stop it. And then you can divert the flow to your RO system. That's fantastic. In fact, they even make setups where the purging valve right here is automatic. So if it 
detects a certain amount of resistance, I believe, or it could be some other method, but they, they do make auto flushing systems for spin filters. Why did no one ever tell me these exist? This seems like such an obvious thing. This, this seems like something someone should have brought up to me a long time ago. I feel silly. Like, I genuinely feel silly. I feel like this is, this is like, step numero uno for anyone who's got seriously hard water. Am I alone in this? I don't know. But the point is, the spin filter works incredibly well. And uh, there's different brands that make it. This one I got on Amazon, and it, it's doing a good job. They make more advanced versions of these filters. But this little thing is theoretically good for an entire whole home. Uh, especially if you've got the auto purging system where it will clean itself off uh, whenever it detects that it needs to. So, this is the new filter, and it is the first stage, and it is possibly one of the more important stages, because, as I said before, by trapping the heavy gunk way at the beginning, you are going to save the life of the rest of your filters considerably, especially your sediment filter. Because I get so much sediment at times that it bleeds over into the pre-carbon stage. And you can see that right here. So, you know, these, these cartridges, they're not reusable. You know, they have a lifespan. And uh, if you want to maximize the lifespan, you got to have reusable pre-filters like a spin filter. And for anyone else who didn't know these things existed... Well, there you go. I thought I would share that with you guys because I don't know why I didn't know about it, but hopefully that makes someone else's day. So, uh, hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up, give me a comment. Let me know if you knew about these things because, uh, like I said, I sure didn't.